Lawmakers at the state capitol have billions of dollars to sort out this session on top of different po uh, policy priorities. But there are two things that they'd like to get done fast. Checks for frontline workers and replenishing the pot of money for jobless claims. Caroline Cummings explains. Because I'll tell you what, right now out there, the morale is at its lowest point. And this is exactly what we need. Frontline workers were excited when the divided legislature struck a deal to pass bonus checks for them. That promise came months ago, and still they haven't delivered. Can you just imagine what we felt like when I had to tell them over and over again, it hasn't been solved. Republicans and Democrats have been at odds over who should qualify and for how much, and they still are after all this time. But the DFL is marching on with a House proposal that got its first stamp of approval Wednesday, increasing the pot of money from $250 million to $1 billion with the promise of checks to more than 660,000 workers at $1,500 apiece. They're very much deserving of it. It's been long overdue. Both chambers say bonus checks are a priority and they want to act fast. But with no deal reached, it's unclear just how fast that'll be or if it'll be bogged down by the process. Another key issue that requires quick action, paying back the federal government the billion-dollar debt the state took on to handle a surge in jobless claims in the pandemic, which drained the unemployment fund. Money owed needs to be paid back or businesses will shoulder a higher tax. Republicans say they want to cover the cost and then some, replenishing the account to a sustainable balance. What a unique opportunity to have a bipartisan effort to do the right thing and frankly, to do it now. At the Capitol, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. The legislature has a projected $7.7 .7 billion surplus that could increase with this month's next forecast. There's also over a billion dollars in extra COVID relief funds.